Hi, today I am at Stourhead Gardens and this is right at the end, the bottom of the gardens. This is where King Alfred the Great would have ridden with his army of men across this pathway through this amazing valley and this ancient woodland to King Alfred's Tower, which is just further on up, just past the wells. Look at this amazing, beautiful oak tree in all its glory, full of mustard, limey gold. I wish the sun was stronger today so you could really see how amazing it is. And then you've got the darkness of the ancient woods beyond. And then this huge clump of yellow gorse. It's full of diverse nature and the sound of birds. That's very sad across there because one of the oak trees, well maybe a few actually, have gone, have died eventually. They do come to the end. I don't know why that happens, but some oak trees do do that and, and other trees. So once that oak tree was just like this oak tree. This to me is the beautiful area of Stourhead. It's the natural area of Stourhead. And then as you look across there, that's man-made. That's the formal area of Stourhead. And then beyond there is the lake, which everyone comes to throughout the world and visits these amazing gardens and lakes. This area is just a small pond area and as you drop down beyond there then you have the amazing lake. You've got this beautiful cobalt blue sky today and all the birds are very happy and singing away and I'm glad I've come here today. The bluebells aren't quite ready to show you because it's obviously a lot colder this way because you're quite high up but I shall come back and I will show you more just take in this beautiful part of England in Wiltshire bye for now